Delaney and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm seriously so glad that you decided to stop by and hang out with me here at this channel and the Lash Family because seriously, we have the best family here. If you are new here, go ahead, click that subscribe button, join the Lash Fam, you will not regret it. I upload two new videos every single week, Wednesdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. Central Time, so click that button so you don't miss out. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so stinking excited for today's video. Ah! <laughs> I'm very hopeful about the products I'm going to try out. Okay, my Starbucks is kicking in. We are going to be doing a full face from start to finish of a new line that I happen to find at Dollar General. Who doesn't love a good deal? Before we dive on into today's video, let's do the question of the day. Today's question of the day is, what is your go-to makeup removing wipes? I need recommendations. <laughs> do you love how lately my questions have just been, I need your guys' help, please help me. <laughs> my go-to right now have been the Pond's cold cream wipes. I love them, they're so affordable. I also can get them at my local Dollar General. But I'm always down for some recommendations. So leave your favorite makeup removing wipes in the comments below for me and the Lash Fam so that we can maybe broaden our horizons and try something new. Now let's clip the hair out of the way and we'll talk about these products. And let me just share with you guys my, I talked about this on Instagram. This is my favorite drink ever right now. It is the LaCroix, that's how I say it, LaCroix. It is their new Nicola Cola flavor and co coconut cola. I'm addicted. I am going to prep my skin just so you guys can see a little bit of what I've been doing lately for prepping. I'm going in with this Ole Henriksen Truth Serum, Vitamin C Serum. And then I just had to share this with you guys because I'm so obsessed. This is the Bosch Cactus Water. If you like the Tatcha water cream, you guys, this one is even better. It does have a slight green tint to it, but when this goes on your skin... It feels a lot like the water cream. It doesn't turn into a water, but the initial feeling of the water cream feels just like this. This leaves behind the best feeling, and it's kind of like a tacky, like, do you hear it? Like, there's a tackiness to it, so I feel like it's so good for before makeup. I'm loving this stuff so much. The uh, sunscreen I've been using is this Hawaiian Tropic Weightless Face and it has a little bit of a shimmer in there which I think is pretty for the face. Check out this bag of goodies I've got here. I went a little crazy. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Woo woo! Yeah! I haven't done a full face I feel like in forever because let's be real who has money besides big YouTubers for full face videos? So when I saw that there was a brand that looked real promising from Dollar General, thank you Jesus! I definitely picked up this sponge. It looks really decent. It feels pretty nice. Honestly, this feels better than the Morphe sponge. The Morphe sponge is too firm in my opinion. This was $4. I am going to wet it down using my Caudalie grape water. I do think if you were to run this underwater, really immerse it in the water instead of just dampening it like I did, I do think this would expand because it definitely seems a little puffier than before. Something I want to point out that I was really impressed with, I'm not going to lie, and this doesn't, I don't want to paint a broad brush for every makeup brand, but I was impressed when I was looking at the products with the prices. These were all made in like the USA, Germany. I really expected everything to have been made in China. I know like a lot of brands, I believe Morphe is made in China. It doesn't always mean the quality is bad, but sometimes it does. And so the fact that all the products I was looking at were made in like the USA or in Europe, I was like, dang, for this price, that's really unheard of, honestly. So that was very impressive. It says Pretty and Prime Stay Put Makeup Primer. Five dollars, you guys, so cheap. I don't really notice the scent. It's definitely more liquidy than I would have thought. I kind of expected it to be kind of thick. Honestly, it has a really, really nice consistency. It feels really nice, really smooth. It actually has a pretty hydrating feel, so hopefully I don't get too greasy by the end of the day. The security tags they put on here is no joke. A little too sticky. It actually is leaving a bunch of stickiness behind. It kind of takes away from the prettiness of the packaging. But you know, it is from Dollar General, so... You give some, you take some. The concealer I picked up is in the shade Fair and it is $4. That's very good. Isn't that the same price as e.l.f. or maybe even a dollar cheaper? I'm going to prep my eyelids just a little bit. Oh wow, that's the shade Fair. Oh, that's real dark. Oh no. Uh, if these oxidize a lot, then that's not going to be good. 
that is not really fair at all. I was very much hoping for a brightening effect, so that kind of stinkaroos. Now I'm going to go in with that shadow insurance and just pat that all over. So I picked up these gel to powder eyeshadows. I definitely was intrigued by these. I love a good gel eyeshadow, especially if it dries down into that powder finish. So they do have really nice looking palettes, but all of the palettes seem to have basically all shimmer shades. And I have so much eyeshadow, I was like, I really don't want to purchase an eyeshadow palette that I'm not going to use very much. So I went ahead and grabbed these because I thought it would make a really pretty super smoky eye. I got the shade Dahlia, which looks like a really cool toned kind of taupe color. And Innocence, which looks like a very, very blackened blackberry color. I Ugh. So my camera overheated, so I had to take like a 40 minute break, so my mojo is kind of messed up, but let's get back to it, guys. I love multitasking products, and for me, that is bronzer. I did do this size so I could get an idea of what I want to do for you guys. You guys, bronzer makes the best transition shade, in my opinion. When you don't have other options, it works so well. The formula of these are really interesting. This dark one seems more like a powder in the pan, but this one, you can really tell how soft it is. Going in with my M573, I deepened up the outer third of the lid here, and really, these are very pigmented. I did kind of have to build it up to get it where I want it, but to say I'm impressed would be an understatement. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I did bring the dark shade inward, stopping... There's Abel. Leaving the inner third just that bronzer. This color here is really unique. I really like it. It definitely comes across as more of a silver on the lid. I will tell you, I've had this on for about an hour now, and even with that primer, I'm definitely getting some creasing, so that is a downside. I feel like if this was something you wanted to wear all day, maybe stick them in your purse, bring them with you so you can touch up. Because of that creaminess, that gel factor, they will move around. I'm going to grab a little bit more bronzer. Just work that outer edge. Let's do eyebrows. I feel like I should do my eyebrows just in case things get wild and messy up in here. I did pick up their eyebrow pencil and their eyebrow gel. I love a good brow combo. Both the brow pencil and the brow gel come in at four bucks. Uh, super affordable. I picked up the shade Ash Brown and Dark Brown. This pencil looks extremely creamy. And I think it does, I don't see any twisting action here. So I do think you have to sharpen this, but it looks extremely creamy. I'm putting the slightest amount of pressure and it is just laying down so nicely. It's almost so creamy though, I do feel like this is one you will need to sharpen every use. Otherwise you're just going to end up with a round chubby nub. You're going to want to clean up with some concealer. So I think that's what I will do. I'm going to take the spoolie end, I love that it has a spoolie end, and brush them out and then clean them up. I think that's going to be the best go-to for me. Like, that is ultra creamy. Not my favorite formula, but with this extra step, it's not the end of the world. If you like a very natural brow, I feel like you could really fluff the brows up, get that boy brow with this formula. Going in with my MB10, one of my favorite brushes for carving out the brows. I can tell you this concealer formula is quite sheer. It is not a full coverage gal. It is a very natural gal. A little working, a little tweaking for four bucks. Not too shabby. If you don't mind an extra step, not bad at all. Very pigmented. I'm excited to see how this goes. I love brow gel. Oh, yes. Thank you, Believe Beauty. Okay, I can already say I love this because of the size of the brush. Does anyone else feel like so often eyebrow brushes are the chubbiest thing ever and you can't get into your brow? Anybody? I seriously all the time have issues. I'll try a new brow gel and the brush is so chubby. I'm like, how am I supposed to get up in there? Pretty darn dark. I probably could have gone 
for maybe a medium brown if they had it. I don't mind taking a little extra step, a little cleanup action to get my brows where I want them. Because again, eight bucks right here, eight bucks. Okay. If it was 20 bucks for one item, I'd be like, uh, excuse me? No. So now let's move on to the face products, which is what I'm probably the most excited about. Well, this one. This foundation comes in at $5. I got the shade Nude. I'm a little nervous that it could oxidize because the concealer is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. But let's see, let's see, let's see. Going in with my Lexi 532. Oh no, okay. As long as this doesn't oxidize, this color is really, really nice. Oh, okay. This color is perfect. This formula is really pretty so far. It looks very skin-like right now before it has dried down. It honestly reminds me so much of the e.l.f. Flawless foundation. If you have played with that or if you watched my recent video trying it out. This color is perfect though. Um, I would say, let me do a little comparison here. If you have used the L'Oreal Pro Glow in the shade 202, this shade in the Believe Beauty is very similar, like the same shade. I love this finish. If you love a skin-like finish, you are going to love this. It sits really nicely on the skin. It's blending out really well. Definitely can tell this is not a foundation I would love with a sponge because this to me is light medium, maybe medium coverage. If I went in with a sponge, it would be very light coverage, and that's just not my thing. It honestly is doing a good job of not being streaky, but I am kind of stippling. That makes a difference. That is really a nice foundation. Okay, I'm impressed with that. Can we give Believe Beauty a high five for the packaging? For a cheapy foundation, how pretty is that packaging? It looks like a high-end foundation. Glass bottle, love that. And this was made in Ger Germany, so super cool. I'm going to just pat out this foundation just a little bit, just to push it into the skin a little bit more. I can see so many people loving this foundation. It's extremely skin-like. I think I'm going to try to pat it out with my sponge just to see what happens. Because we're playing, you guys. We're playing. We're testing. I wouldn't put this foundation in the super buildable category. You can build it up a little bit, but it's kind of one of those that you build up, but it seems like the coverage stays the same, if that makes sense. I'm gonna make sure my camera doesn't overheat, and I'll be right back so we can conceal, powder, spray. Oh, you guys, I officially believe there's something wrong with my camera. It over overheated again. concealer and it's quite dark you guys <laughs> Ooh, that's dark honestly I could probably just put the foundation under my eyes and it would look exactly the same that is how dark this foundation that is how dark this concealer is I am going to use my sponge for the concealer it's the exact same color as my foundation this is definitely a more light coverage concealer. It's very light coverage. I can't say this is my favorite concealer by any means. If I'm going to put on concealer, I want it to do something. And this is just not doing it for me. So honestly, I would say for the four bucks, spend another buck and get the e.l.f. concealer. This powder comes in at $5. I don't feel like that's a crazy deal. I feel like there's a lot of powders out there that are similar in price. I definitely think the foundation is a great deal. Some of the other products are just kind of normal priced. I thought the eyeshadow was a little bit pricey compar comparing it to the other products. I definitely feel like my under eyes look really smooth. I'm going to go in with my Japanese brush. It's just a really large brush and I'm going to put this everywhere just to see if it gives me that smoothing effect. I definitely think it made my pores look smoother. If you live in a small town, which I know what that's like, I grew up in a small town, for a lot of people, Dollar General is really the only place they have to go to look at makeup unless they're ordering online. 
So not the best powder I've ever used, but definitely not the worst. Give a really nice smoothing effect. I am struggling with coverage, a little bit of a patchy effect right here. It just seems like the foundation didn't want to stick to that spot on my face. They did have individual bronzer blush highlight, but I thought this was a nice little trio. And I like that they did have a lighter option and a darker option. The really bad thing about these are the pan sizes. It can be tricky to get in there with the brush, so going in with, going in with my angled Japanese brush, since it fits in there nicely. Definitely a lot of kick up in here, but the tone of that is really nice if you were a similar shade to me. Definitely feel like if you're fairer than I am, you could get away with this. If you're any teener than I am, you're going to need to bump up to the deeper palette. And it buffs out really nicely, like I'm really not having to work at it. I do kind of feel like I need a little fluffier brush to kind of buff out the bronzer a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this Luxie 522 and just kind of soften this. It was a little harsh here. There we go. Much better. It was just the brush I was using. But that has really given me a nice color. It actually leads a little bit more of like a contour shade than a bronzer shade. It looks very pigmented. You pick up a lot of product. It's very powdery. I don't know if you guys can see how much powder is in there, but definitely you're going to have to be cautious because it'd be easy to kind of just muddy all three products together in the pan. I do kind of feel like the foundation is rubbing off a little bit on the cheeks where I'm applying products. It was just over here, and now I see it happening a little bit over there. That's how much powder is in there. I had to blow it off. I'm going to go in now with the highlight on my Makeup Geek cheek highlighter brush. This highlighter looks really beautiful. It's a very foiled powder. It's very rich. It's a buttery powder, which is my kind of highlight. That's really pretty. I'm really happy with that. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, that is beautiful. That does not look like a Dollar General highlighter. That looks like a high-end makeup geek Anastasia, like that looks like a high-end highlighter. And that just went on absolutely beautifully. I love a foiled highlighter. Super impressed with that, putting a little under the brow. That is so pretty. Okay, that highlighter made this palette 1000% worth it to me. Really impressed there, you guys. And now my hair's falling. I'm just having a heck of a time here. Mascara and lips. Okay, we're almost there, guys. I'm really excited about the setting spray. I love setting spray. Foundation and setting spray are my new addiction. They make every look so much better, in my opinion. This comes in at $4.50. That is such a deal. You get two ounces in here. It says makeup perfecting. I'm scared about the mister, you guys. The mister can make a break. Oh, it's very fine, but I don't think you want to hold it too close. It actually smells really good. It's definitely fragranced. It has a perfumey smell, but it's a nice perfumey smell. I actually really like that. And I just realized I haven't done under my eyes. That setting spray was really, really nice. It's such a fine mist. It is fragranced, a fairly strong fa fragrance, but it is a really pretty perfumed scent, so I didn't mind it. I feel like it's lingering a little bit, so if you don't like scents, that could be a problem. I do feel like the setting spray really melted everything into my skin, made it a little more skin-like. I'm still loving the foundation, and I've had it on for a long time now because, you know, camera problems. I'm going to go in with their Believe Beauty Extended Lash Lengthening Mascara. This wand made me have to try it. This comes in at $4.50. I'm pretty picky about my mascara, so we'll see. Um, this I'm a little nervous for. This definitely feels like a formula you could really build up and get some va-va-voom lashes. I'm just fearful because my camera has been 
doing its thing today, so I don't want to work on them too long, but I do like the mascara. I definitely think it's worth a try, especially for the price. I picked up two lip glosses, a clear, because I've been wanting a clear gloss. Isn't that like the simplest thing ever, but I feel like I need it. And then I also picked up this one in Eternal, which looks like just a pretty kind of peachy, soft pink with a gold glitter in there. These are $4, and I really like the looks of the wand inside. It looks super chubby. And I think for this today, I'm just going to try a really juicy clear gloss. Mm, the wand is not my favorite. It looked like soft, but it's kind of stiff. And this gloss is thick. But it's not too sticky. It feels tacky enough that it's going to stick around, but it's not so tacky that my lips stick together when I move them. Is it my absolute favorite gloss? To be real with you guys, I like to keep it real. Not really. I just thought there would be much more of a high shine impact. To me, this is just kind of almost like a shiny chapstick look. I, I've worn chapsticks that give me as much of a shine. I really thought this would be like, bing, like super shiny. Let me get up close and personal so you guys can see the situation. Honestly, I feel like my skin looks really incredibly good. This foundation is so skin-like. Pretty impressed with the foundation, you guys. Overall, I like this brand far more than I dislike it for the price point, for the availability, for so many people who don't live near an Ulta or a Sephora or people on a budget. I think this is great. I feel like they've stepped up the makeup game for the low-end price range. The packaging is all so pretty. It honestly looks like high-end products, so I'm really impressed. I think the products that I'm the most impressed with were the brow products, if you're willing to take a little extra step. The foundation is amazing. I thought the primer went with it really well. I'm not noticing any issues so far. That Trio face palette, so good. The highlighter made it for me. Oh my goodness, beautiful. The mascara is really good. I really like the mascara. The eyeshadow, if you're willing to play with it, re-blend it out throughout the day, not terrible. Very pigmented, but the whole scrunching up thing, I can't say I'm going to reach for them a lot. And then the lip glosses, not horrible, worth a try, just expected a little bit more bling, a little more shine, but overall the formula feels really nice on my lips, so I'm not going to give it a thumbs down or anything. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this affordable video. I love bringing you guys content that is affordable because I know makeup can get just so crazy expensive, so I'm always excited when I see a company putting something out there that everybody can have access to. That is everything for today, you guys. If you haven't subscribed, then click that subscribe button. I would love, love, love for you to be a part of the Lash Family. Really, I would. Let's do the shout-out of the day. Today's shout-out of the day is Emily Gelliff. I'm so sorry if I said your last name wrong. She commented on my skincare video and was answering the question of the day. I asked if you could have any hair color, what would you have? And her answer was purple hair, which I think is amazing. Purple is a great color, and she actually said she's going to do that at the end of the summer. So, Emily, I think that's totally awesome. Thank you for sharing that with the Lash Fam. I'm seriously so, so, so glad that you are here. And as always, you guys, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.